the higher your blood glucose levels are and the longer they remain high, the more at risk you have. Hello everyone, welcome to Living with Lydia. I am Lydia, your lovely host. Today I'm going to demonstrate on how to do finger prick test. Finger pricking is how you find out what your glucose level is at that particular time. Please watch as I demonstrate the simple steps on how to test your blood glucose level in the right and safe way. The things you will need to do the test. Eight, a blood testing meter. A fingerprint device, some test strips, a lancer, which is a very short, fine needle, and a sharp beam to dispose of the used needle and strips. Next step is wash your hands with soap and warm water. Don't use wet wipes as the glycerin in them can affect the test results. Make sure your hands are warm so it's easier to get blood and won't hurt as much. The second step is take a test strip and slot it into the meter to turn it on. Some meters will have test strip built in them. Remove the cap from your finger prick device and put in and put in a new lancet. Then put the cap back on and set the device by pulling or clicking the plugger. Choose which finger to prick but avoid your thumb or index finger and don't prick the middle or too close to a knee. Place the device against the side of your finger press the plugger use a different finger each time and a different area take your meter with the test strip and hold it against the drop of blood it will tell you if the test strip is feed usually it will be Before you look at your reading, check your finger. Use a tissue to stop the bleeding. You can use the same tissue to take out the test strip and throw that in the sharp bin. Taking out the strip will usually turn the meter off. Always take note of your readings. Although most of the blood glucose meters have their own memory device, because of visual clarity, it is good for you to write down your readings in a notebook, diary, or your phone calendar. In conclusion, I will say this. Not everyone with diabetes needs to share their levels like this. Always talk to your doctor if you are not sure. They will advise you on whether to do it yourself or how often you should. Please like, subscribe, click on the notification button, leave your comment below and it is goodbye for now.